Hello and welcome to Shrimp Stop. Today we're going to talk about RO water. Now there's quite a few people that use RO water for their aquariums and know what it is, but there are some people that don't know. So we're going to discuss what is RO water and why it is better to use RO water for your shrimps and or fish. To put it simply, RO water or reverse osmosis water is where you take your tap water, which might be very hard or very soft water, and running it through a filter with a membrane that will leave you water with a very low or non-existent TDS dependent on the filter that you're using and a pH that is also neutral or non-existent. Our normal RO unit that you can readily buy will usually give you a TDS of anywhere between 6 and 20, 25 thereabouts and you might ask yourself well why is this important? The short answer is if you use our water you can tailor the water to the specific fish or shrimp that you're trying to keep which is better for the longevity, breeding and general health and well-being of your fish and shrimp. That being said, keep in mind that we use pure RO water from time to time, but generally we have to remineralize the water to get it to a pH and TDS level that's suitable for the shrimp and fish that you're trying to keep. Now some might ask why do we need to put back minerals if we just took out the minerals out of the water? Well that's got to do with the actual composition of the water get it to the pH level and mineral content level that you want for the specific fish and shrimp that you're trying to keep. As you know, neocardina and cardina shrimp require different water parameters. They require different pH levels, different KH and GH levels. So the minerals that we are putting back are the required minerals. As all shrimp and all fish require minerals in the water for them to keep healthy and keep alive. By remineralizing we also can help stabilize the pH level that helps your buffing substrate buffer more effectively. Besides the salts, the only other important piece of equipment that you're going to need is a TDS pen. The TDS pen you're going to use to measure the TDS of your tank water, pure RO water and of course the remineralized RO water just to see that when you remineralize your water that everything is in spec. Also this is the part where I said that we use pure RO water from time to time. If your water has a very very high TDS content you can reduce the TDS by topping up or doing water changes with pure RO water. Keep in mind this will drop the TDS quite considerably because the water that you're putting in has got zero or a very very low TDS. What we usually do is do top ups with pure RO water every week for the water that we lose through evaporation. A day after that when everything is back to stable then we do a water change with remineralized RO water. In the last two years that we've been doing it this way, we've had great success, zero losses on doing water changes, and our shrimps are breeding excessively. Like we said in numerous previous videos, shrimp don't like major changes in their habitat. So doing it this way, it is less stressful and your water parameters fluctuate much, much less. Okay, so back to the actual remineralizing process. There's a lot of different brands and types out on the market. You have to keep an eye on whichever product you're going to use, that you're using the correct one for the water that you're trying to set up. Now, the brand that we use is Salty Shrimp. In Salty Shrimp, there's a couple of different types of remineralizing salts that you get. The first one that we're going to look at is the GHKH one. It's been designed especially for Neocardina shrimp. It contains all the minerals and trace elements that Neos will need, but it also raises the pH of the water to about 7. Keep this in mind if you're going to use it on a buffering substrate that will actually reduce the pH of the water again. 
the next product that we're going to look at is the Salty Shrimp GH Plus. The GH Plus is designed with Cardinas in mind. The GH Plus will add all the minerals and trace elements that your Cardina shrimp need, but it will not affect the pH of the water, which means that the pH of your water will stay low. And if you want to lower it more, you can add stuff like alder cones or Indian almond leaves to reduce the pH of your water if you do not use a buffering substrate like ADA or Akadama or Brightwell or whichever brand you prefer. I'll put some links in the description of all the products that I mentioned. These are products that we use on a weekly basis and the results speak for themselves. Some might say the initial cost of converting and going over to RO water is expensive but if you look at the results that you get after doing it it is money well spent so usually at the end of our videos I ask you to like and subscribe but we're gonna change it a little bit this week and I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to PewDiePie if you're not subscribed yet and if you are create another account and subscribe again PewDiePie needs your help, out. so head on over, hit once. that subscribe button, and enjoy his content. Thanks, and goodbye.